so well on the same. Chicken to chop, chicken to chop. Hundreds coaches. Some of the stones hit Henry's boiler and spoiled his paint. One hit the fireman on the head as he was shoveling coal, and others broke the carriage windows. It's a shame, it's a shame, hissed Henry. They've broken our glass, they've broken our glass, sobbed the coaches. The driver opened the first aid box, bandaged the fireman's head, and planned out what he was going to do. They stopped the train, and the guard asked if any of the passengers were hurt. No one was hurt, but everyone was very cross. They saw the fireman's bumped head and told him what to do for it. And then they looked at Henry's paint. Call the police, they shouted angrily. No, said the driver. Leave it to Henry and me. We will teach those lads a lesson. What will you do, they asked. Can you keep a secret? Yes, yes, they all said. Well then, said the driver, Henry is going to sneeze at them. What? cried all the passengers. The driver laughed. Henry draws air in through his fire and puffs it out with smoke and steam. When he puffs hard, the air blows ashes from his fire into a smoke box, and these ashes sometimes prevent him from puffing properly. When your nose is blocked, you sometimes sneeze. If Henry's smoke box is blocked, I can make the air and steam blow the ashes out in his funnel. We'll do it out of the bridge and startle those boys. Henry puffed on to the terminus where he had a rest. Then they took the train back. Tomorrow. Henry 